Welcome back to the morons, everybody. Morgan is still here. <laughs> yeah, Morgan's still with us. Well, this is just one session, so. <laughs> oh, man. Yeah. I wish this song would hurt and play. <laughs> yeah, we, we've entered, um... We've entered into the point of recording where, like, all of our energy is, like, gone. I don't know that we had any energy to start this session, though. <laughs> Man. <laughs> so tell some stories. I don't know any. You, you don't have any, any high school stories? Man, I struggled on that sentence. <laughs> I mean, like, d define high school story. Anything like, that, that involves it causing you crippling depression. I don't feel like reciting my life story through high school. <laughs> Same. I don't know. It could be funny. Nothing interesting happened when I was, I was in bad high school. At math. I did. I did actually really good on my math classes. Actually, I, I was in my geometry class. You didn't do good. You did well. Do whatever. Really, you I didn't. English. Yeah. <laughs> I've never done well in English. English has been my subject for my entire. Oh, it has. Um, you, you didn't show up at all for English class in college, and you still got a D somehow. It's because I write good papers, dude. <laughs> you wrote like four papers out of the, like 15. Yeah, and they were good. They were so good, I got a D. But um, I was in my geometry class, and what would happen basically is that I'd be working on like whatever worksheet we'd be doing, and then there were, you know, like, basically how it worked was... You know how it is, like, sit around the smart kid, basically? Yeah. So, that's... Oh, Jesus Christ. That's how everyone passed geometry in my first time <coughs> with geometry. Except me, because I was too far away. <laughs> yeah, you know who they sat around? Who? You? Yeah. <laughs> but, um... There were six people in, like, a circle around him. I couldn't get in there. <laughs> but, see, what it was was that they were all, like, to the side of me. Mm -hmm. So, w literally, whenever I wasn't looking, like, I would seriously, like, either bend down to pick something up or, like, I'd go do whatever, you know. Mm -hmm. They would take the worksheet that I had. Like, they'd just take it off my desk and start writing down the answers. And my teacher never said anything, even though she kept watching it. And so, finally, she, like, at one point, she just, like, made it known. Uh, she got, like, everyone's, uh, she got, like, everyone's work. And she was basically just like, wow, you know. Like, she pulled out four papers, like, she was looking, and she was just like, man, Travis, you did a good job. <laughs> uh, I loved my math teacher in high school. Which one would be, Ramey? Yeah. Dude, he's the man. Yeah, he is. There was only one math teacher that I didn't like in my high school years, and that was literally because I, I don't know how... She just wouldn't teach. Yeah, it sounds like Morgan's math teacher is the one that uh, wrecked the school bus. Oh my oh, god, what? Yeah. Yeah, he's garbage, though. Is this the monkey you have to catch? Yeah. It's, it's like I'm Goku. <laughs> <laughs> Trying to catch... Is his name Bubbles? Yeah. Okay, making sure. Um, I'm so up. excited for the Super English dub, even though I keep up with subs. Yeah. I can't wait to hear Sean and Chris bring my childhood back to me. Well, what's left at least. Have you ever heard, or did you ever see Sean Sh uh, Schimmel's um, Vine? No, I don't think so. He made, the only Vine that I remember from him was, it was just him on camera, and then he's just like, Kamehame, ho! Like opera singing and just spinning in a circle. I'm just like, what in the world? Where's the star at? <laughs> I don't know. It's probably a straight drop. Alright, okay. I found it. No, 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 no. no. <laughs> okay. Alright. But yeah, freshman year, I... Okay, this was literally how my class went freshman year. Because it was an algebra one. There were three guys that sat in the front of the classroom. I don't know why they sat there because they never did anything. And so literally every day I walked in there, I knew exactly what was going to happen. They were going to try and throw her off subject. 
and they were going to fart. They were going to fart? <laughs> yes. <laughs> because literally every day... I saw one of them take a water ball and stick it up to their butthole and try and capture their fart. <laughs> Okay, this is what happened in my Algebra 1 class. I took Algebra 1 in 8th grade. Really? Yeah, I was in Algebra 2 uh, my freshman year. Yeah, see, they wouldn't let me do that because I was awful in math in grade school, but when I got to high school, I understood it completely. Yeah, now you're in college and it's... it's I'm back come, to grade school. It's come full, full circle again. Yep. Um, but, uh... But yeah, that's literally what would happen during that class. Algebra 2 was a lot better. It was a lot better. Um, actually, my teacher one time asked me, because there were a lot of students that were like having trouble with whatever subject we were learning. Mm -hmm. And she literally looked at me and another one of my friends in that class. She goes, will you, two, will you two take these guys into the classroom next door and teach them how to do this? And I was like, I, I mean... I." I, I guess, and then she goes, I'll give you bonus points, and I literally grabbed my paper and went, come on, let's go. <laughs> I didn't need them, but I was like, you know what, if I'm getting bonus points, then heck yeah. <laughs> and I literally went next door and taught them. Yeah, uh, I don't think I'd teach anyone, because, you know, everyone copied off me. <laughs> um, Man, my favorite teacher was my physics and chemistry teacher. Man, I... That was honestly my favorite teacher up there. Now, who was that? Uh, I'll tell you after recording. Okay. I think I know who it is. Yeah. Um, what was I going to say? Oh, yeah. And then I told you about junior year, which is when I took geometry. And then senior year was really interesting in my pre-cal class, simply due to the fact that I was a band kid. And the teacher that I had for pre-cal was, was the band director's wife. Should I try and long jump to that? Yeah, it's up to you. I think I think you can make that with a long jump. Ooh, okay, you good. Um, but yeah, so there's that. Um, yeah, I'm trying to think of if like anything. I led my class. I forget what year we were, but. We were trying to get everybody pumped up for a pep rally. Mm -hmm. and because I'm a band kid, obviously, like, I had to be at the pep rally, you know? Yeah. But this was the before we actually went. We were trying to get people pumped up. And so, one of the teachers suggested that we sing the fight song. You know, our school's fight song. Well, no one knew how the fight song went. <laughs> except for me, because I was the band kid. So I literally had to, like, sit there and be like, and play the part, like, not play a part. I literally had to sit there and be like, ba ba da da ba ba sing my part, mm -hmm. <coughs> and teach them the words. It got to the point where I had, where literally we went to three classrooms, got them all to do it. We went out in the hallway and started running down the hallway, screaming stuff like, charge! And going into the other classrooms and telling people to get... Like, pumped up. So, that happened. <laughs> uh, Morgan, the only the only time you liked about high school was the pep rallies. Dude, I got so hot. <laughs> really? <laughs> really? The warrior chop. <laughs> <laughs> He'd chop your neck if you weren't careful. <laughs> chop your head off, boy. As a band kid, the only time that I ever showed excitement during the pep rally was when I was playing. If we weren't playing, I was just like... I was sitting down on my iPod. I'm just like, hmm. dude, it gave me a chance to scream during school, and I just, I, I fully embraced it. <laughs> Yo, and the uh, homecoming games. Ooh, oh, those got, were fun. Got lit. We got spirit. <coughs> How about you? I think the band always played something during our homecoming games. Like, we went out on the field and, like, played something. Um, it, what, yeah, well, what we had, it wasn't exactly homecoming games. We had homecoming week, and we... That's what we had. Yeah. And, it was, and you did, like, something different, like, every day. Yep. Yeah. I never dressed up for it. I never competed in the games, but we just got out of class for it. I competed in some of the games one year. Um, did you win? No. Because I said I cheated during limbo. How'd you cheat? 
I was completely under the bar, like my head was past the bar, and I swung myself up, like, how, how do I describe this? Like, so imagine you're, you know, you're bent backwards like you do for, you know, Limbo. Yeah. Even though I was completely under the bar, like, you know, I had already passed it, I had, like, swung myself back up, like, sideways in a sense, and they're like, that's cheating. And then they just took me out of the game. After this video, I'm listening to it. Okay. Man. My high school experience... Well, what else was your high, high school experience? Because I'll explain mine after you explain yours. I mean, I don't really know what else to say Me and Zach went to the same high school, so we did the same bunch of fuckery as ever. Well, my time. high school experience, I was a very shy kid. Probably still am. <laughs> like... I would go to class. I would not talk to anyone. I would just sit there. Wait Until class, you was... met Terry. No, it was Joe. <laughs> you hear me? Yeah. I'm right next to you. I hear you. Yeah, I know. But, uh... <laughs> uh Hi. Yeah. Like, I'm sitting in a... What class was it? Pretty sure... It was a history class. That's all I know. I'm just sitting there. And Joe's like, Hey! And, like, he just started talking to me. And I was like, okay. And then, next thing I know, I'm hanging out with Joe. And Joe was the popular... Most popular kid. Dude, everyone knew him. Like, in eighth grade, everyone... He was friends with the seniors as soon as he went up there. I've never... I never thought I would see the day whenever I'd be walking through the school. Uh, you know what? I thought I was going to get bullied. I'll be honest. Oh, but believe me, I did too. Joe was, or he is, Joe is my cousin, and I was just walking around with him, and I was friends with like, the entire senior class, and I was friends with everyone on day one. It was great. <laughs> <laughs> See, I'm, I'm a, okay, when I went into high school freshman year, because obviously there's no face cam here, so um, just to kind of explain this, um, I've had a beard since the end of eighth grade. And keep something in mind, I graduated 8th grade in 2008, so I've had a beard for quite a long amount of time, and I had it when I went into high school, and I'm also a big guy, you know, like, not muscular, I'm fat, like, I'm just, I'm a, I'm a fat kid. With Same a pH. Rich. <laughs> but not the D. Yeah, you don't have that yet. What? I said you're fat with pH, but not the D, you don't oh. have a pH yet. <laughs> Um, but, uh... Man, if that was any laugh, that was a pity laugh. <laughs> but, um, I was, I was fully expecting, because, you know, I'm a, I'm a nerd, I was a band kid, you know, like, I was, I was every stereotype to get picked on, and never got picked on. I remember, though, I'll never forget this, this is one of my favorite moments from high school. Normally... As a band kid, you try and avoid certain groups of people, one of those being anyone that plays sports. What are you going back in here for? Get coins. Oh. Um, just because, you know, typically they're always just, like, douches to you. I came out of the band room. I was getting ready to go to lunch. And I had someone, I don't remember exactly who it was, but someone from, like, whatever sports team we had stopped me dead in my tracks and they went, you're in the band, right? And I'm like, yeah. And they're like, please tell me the band is playing at tonight's show. Please tell me they're going to be there. And I'm like, yeah, we play at every home game. And they were like literally just freaking out over the fact that the band was going to be there. And like they, they went on their way. And I'm just sitting here and I'm just like, huh. <laughs> well then. <laughs> like, they, they actually care about the band. <laughs> Sweet. Mm-hmm. Let's see. I hope to God I don't mess this up. My band director once drunk weak old coffee. Oh, dude, you told us that story before. Yeah, it was just sitting on his stand. He comes back in and picks it up, and someone goes, Isn't that your coffee from last week? And he goes, Yeah. <laughs> he just takes a drink of it. God. <laughs> that is, no. No thanks. I remember his face, too, because he just went, Ugh. Yeah, that's weak old coffee. God. It's so disgusting. You know, to be honest, I did nothing, you know, for my high school. <laughs> like, okay. they were like, here, come attend this, come to this dance. I didn't even go to prom. Oh, I, went, prom I went to my eighth grade 
prom and I went to my junior prom, but I didn't go to my senior prom. I went to prom alone just because I knew it was about to be lit. I went to my I went to junior prom with a, a friend of mine that lives a couple hours away, but literally after that, she and I were both like, "Yeah, that was so stupid and boring." I was just like, "Okay, I'm not going." I was just like, "I'm not going to senior prom," and uh, yeah, yeah, I didn't go. I just hung out at my house, did what I do best, play video games. That's what I did for my senior prom. And at the time, I had some friends that, like, belittled... Well, not belittled, that's the wrong word, but they, like, were just, like... You know, they, they gave the speech of, you know, Oh, but, you know, it's memories, and oh, and oh, and I'm just like, Yeah, my time is better spent with me getting through, you know, this level that I'm stuck on than standing Making up. memories with people I hate. Yeah. Making memories with people I'm not even going to communicate with after I'm graduated. You know? I mean, it sucks. Literally, I was best friends with someone through grade school and everything. Graduated high school, don't talk to him anymore. Funny story about, like, the the grade school, like, high school and stuff like that. I had a buddy in grade school. He was in first grade with me, I think, or second grade. And we used to talk all the time. Got to third grade, he disappeared. I had no idea, like, what happened to him. And I was, I was like, legit sad. I was just like, aww. Get into high school... I keep hearing his name and all the roles because he was in a couple of my classes. And I'm like... And, and I looked at him and I'm like, he looks familiar now. So I literally went up to him and I asked him. And he was, and I was just like, yeah, is this your name? And he was just like, yeah. And I'm like, okay. Did you go to... My elementary school is called Mullins. And I was like, did you ever go to Mullins? And he's like, yeah, I think in first grade. Yeah, I went to Mullins. And I'm like... You remember a kid called? You remember a kid named Travis? And he takes a good long look at me, and he's just like, "Oh my god!" <laughs> and I was just like, "I knew that was you." Yeah, but uh, <coughs> I, like that guy I was friends with, uh -huh. he'd come to my house every weekend. I'd go up his house, just hung out any chance we got. That's how I was with my cousin. But as soon as uh, I graduated, we kept in touch for a little while, like say. Mm, about six months after high school, mm -hmm. getting ready to go into college. And then it was like, afterwards he moved, and now he's friends with someone else, like, you know. Which, yeah, yeah. I mean, it happens, I guess. Yeah, I mean, it's just, you know, what can you goes? do? You got us now. <laughs> Sadly. <laughs> I knew that one was coming. Uh, I expected nothing less. That's very true. That's that's very true. Are you going for the hundred coin star? Yeah. Okay. Well, I, just I believe we'll I can talk about some I stuff. believe I can almost get it. <laughs> uh, I had a story in mind from my, and I completely forgot about it. Oh yeah, someone got caught jerking off in the bathrooms my freshman year. Someone got caught uh, sucking someone off in the uh, <laughs> behind the stairwell at my school. Oh, that's and, funny. But here's here's the thing. You want to know how I found out about the guy getting caught? How? Because they announce on the intercom, like they're doing announcements on the intercom, and then I hear them go, "And make sure that when you're in the bathroom, you're not doing that type of business." <laughs> Yeah, someone got caught doing that, doing what you said on a bus in my high school. Dude, there's some crazy stuff. Oh my god, I'm not going to be able to get the star. Oh no, can you not hit that thing? Oh. <laughs> what that is. Ah, fuck. <laughs> I believe in you, I think you can get it. Um... Trying to think of a really funny. Are you kidding me? Uh, trying to think of a really funny story to to go over all this. Uh, but what was you just talking? Oh yeah, uh, my freshman year we had someone get arrested for uh, having drugs on them. Rip. Oh wow, really? Yep. It wasn't even theirs. <laughs> they had let somebody they know oh use my their God. backpack. You, okay, wait, 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 wait. I just thought about this. I just remembered this. I can't believe I forgot about this. Either my 7th or 8th grade year. So you know how it's like, you know, you get new students, like, throughout random parts of, like, the school year and stuff like that? Mm -hmm. 
Well, this new girl had shown up just kind of out of nowhere, honestly. Mm -hmm. And I remember I tried to, to, to speak with her. And she was incredibly, like, early on emo, goth, all that stuff. Sane. Yeah, like, <laughs> she was sane. She was kind of sane before scene existed. Um, but, like, I, I'll never forget. She was there one day. The next day, I was talking with another friend of mine, and he was just like, yeah, yeah, you know, I, I, I like, tried to, to speak with her, and this was early on. The next thing I know, we're going home due to a bomb threat that she had made. <laughs> Never saw her again. <laughs> uh, uh, yeah, that'll do it. <clears throat> We never had the like we never had a th threat like that in our school. Actually, we did. You remember when the world was supposed to end? Oh no. Yeah, we had a threat saying people were gonna come to our school and kill us before the world ended. Oh god. You remember that? Oh look how retarded people are. Yeah, that was our junior year actually. Yeah, yeah, you know you know that same year um, we had someone make out a hit list at our at our high school. Yo, didn't that happen to somebody? Yeah. Pretty sure. You know what I'm talking about, dude, don't you? Maybe. Or he got blamed for it? <laughs> <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> <laughs> you remember freshman year that one uh, chick was like, he's got a gun. <laughs> Is that the same person who got blamed yeah. for it? Yeah. Oh, my God. Yeah. Uh, they, poor guy. They were relentless. They were mean to him. You gonna get that star? I'm gonna try to. <laughs> oh, you did not get it. <laughs> um, let me think here. Oh, this, Red I mean, dreams. oh, God. Um, we had this one teacher who was the uh, woodshop teacher. Mm -hmm. Every time he answered the phone, he went, ahoy. <laughs> I don't know why, but that's how he answered the phone. Dude, like, every, every, teacher, the that, bob. every teacher that came up to our school was like a scumbag or tried to touch the children. That's 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 that's, that's an episode. <laughs> <laughs> Bye, everybody. Don't touch children. Finger guns. Don't diddle kids. <laughs> <laughs>